Hey guys, welcome to the uh, Upper West Side. Today is my Broadway debut and I am off to get my coffee. It's my daily regimen as I start. It's been pretty quick. I mean, you're thrown into it really quickly. Some of the swings have been at rehearsals to help me out, but it's mainly been, yeah, just me. So a lot of homework at night by yourself, um, but they've all been so accommodating and so supportive that it's made the job really joyful. Yeah, this is like across from my apartment. This is where you get all the quick fix. I get my water bananas. Got three waters. This will be stage right, yeah. stage left, and dressing room. And then I've got two bananas. That's my quick snack. You know, they give you your, your regular equity breaks, but you quickly lose energy because your brain is racing so fast. So I've learned to always keep myself hydrated and, you know, the good food along the way. Yeah, I'll take a small coffee, skim milk, no sugar. When I first graduated from college, I was in a production called Harmony, um, Barry Manilow's new musical. And I thought, that's it, I got my debut, I was 23, I was super excited, and then it was shut down. So since then, I've had some really, really close calls, but they haven't come through. I knew this day would happen, but you don't get to know when, you don't get to know what type of show. I mean, I grew up listening to this score like crazy, so I already knew all the lyrics. I know Jesus, Judas, Mary, I could do them all, you know. Thank you, have a good day. All right, we're good. Every day I go to the C train, takes me into Midtown, it's a quick 15 minutes. My agents submitted me, there was a quick replacement. Um, I actually sang from Tommy and that went really well. Then I got uh, the word that it was between me and one other guy and I had to wait overnight. And then I got the call the next day, the following day. This has got the dance shoes, the uh, track pants. Today I've got my last rehearsal, it's kind of like a mini put in. And then I got a haircut. Look at all this hair. I got a lot of hair. Yeah, a lot of the theater crowd lives up here, a lot of actors, because it's very convenient being on the west side. It's, a, it's, it's nice being up here, away from all the crazy hubbub, and then going into it. I've got the park right here. I go to the park here, and I walk off a bad audition, which, of course, I have plenty of those, too. There's fighting in this show, which is awesome. I've done West Side Story a lot, so a lot of the fightography uh, came to me quickly, which was good. We have a fight coach, Julius, in the show. He's fantastic and he's really helped me out. But yeah, fightography is kind of a, a term we'll use. It's an aggressive show, so there's a lot of, there. I have pikes and I've got a club at points, so we're gonna go up here. Well, there's our train. I love it when this happens, right on. This is the time when I would like use the chance to go over music. I'm crazy, I'll just go over choreography right here on the floor. I don't even care if I look like one of those crazy people. Tonight when I go out with some friends after the show to celebrate, a lot of the cast is gonna go. I brought my good lucky red sport coat. This was my father's in college. It's ripped, look at the inside of it. My mom has said, Leo, let it go, get rid of it. And I'm like, no, 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 this was dad's. He was one of those total hippies. His hair was like throwed out to here. Yeah, I'm sure he had plenty of fun nights in this coat. Something else that we're doing. I found out that I was gonna get to be on the Tonys. I was literally in rehearsals for a Tony performance before I was in the show. Into the crazy Midtown hustle bustle now. Yeah, I always try to get here early. You know, I try to get to the theater, go over all the notes, warm up. Stretching's really important. And you know, since it's still new to me, it's not in my body as much. So I gotta do more to get to where I need to be mentally. All right, here we go. So we are on our way to the Neil Simon Theater on 52nd Street. It's a great theater. It's right in the heart of things, right across from Jersey Boys. Some of my rehearsals would happen at like rehearsal studios, Ripley Greer and stuff like that, but for the most part, I always got to rehearse on the stage, which was awesome. When you make the transition from rehearsal studio to theater, it just becomes that much more real. I mean, you're literally, you're, of course, you're working with the set and you might get the chance to work with some props, costume pieces and stuff. Um, but it also becomes that much more dangerous in a way because you don't know what you're doing as well. So you got to be, be careful of what, what's around you. The good thing about the rehearsal studios though is you get the mirror so you can look at yourself, see what's not right. 
Here's my corner. This is the corner. You always get a little extra buzz right here. Like I always get a little extra excited when I like around the corner and I see that marquee. It's oh, it's the best. All right, this is it. I'm here, I'm at the Neil Simon. I'm about to go into my last rehearsal, haircut, and then I do this, and I'm a, I'm a Broadway baby now. So I'm super excited, I'm nervous, I'm ready, bring it.